Let's get right to breaking news. Moments ago, attorneys representing volunteers at St. Louis County Animal Control filed a federal lawsuit. It comes as those volunteers are being forced to reapply for their positions as the county restructures its system. The volunteers are questioning that decision while county officials tell our Sarah Maki the change was necessary. Heather Henderson is so committed to the animals at St. Louis Animal Control, she rearranged her schedule to be here. It was so important to me, I took a vacation day from work today to be here all day long with all these guys. She's one of the 450 volunteers who will have to reapply for their positions after the county decided to restructure their program. It is basically trying to weed people out. Joseph Hatton believes the move is retaliatory after several volunteers spoke out about what they perceive to be unsafe and unsanitary conditions. It's a charge the county denies. We have people that we don't have forms and files on, and so we appreciate like that they have been here, but we also need to have a system <laughs> and some like rules and procedures, and this is just, okay, we are all going to be on procedures. Everyone is looking out for the best interest of these guys, but two volunteers are filing a federal lawsuit. They're claiming that their constitutional rights of free speech and free assembly have been violated. So here's what they want, damages and an injunction to stop the application process so they can keep their current positions. County workers will fill in the gap while organizers vet volunteers, starting shifts at 5.30 Friday morning and continuing through the weekend. Henderson says she's applied to continue in the new system and she's so committed that she plans to care for this pup, Carmi, permanently. I know. You're a good girl. Hoping to adopt the dog. In all of that, Sarah Maki, five on your side. The county is taking applications for more volunteers on its website. Organizers will start interviewing volunteers this weekend, hoping to approve up to 30 people in this first round.